happened, you know, and he saw that we were right, and he left Nate, and then he attacked Nate's people, man. But yeah. then he, but but the guy was t- tainted, man. Yeah. Because you came into all that money and you blew it, man. You know, you blew that shit, man. Yeah. Hey, man, I went on. Uh, I went to Google and I put uh, houses uh, houses for rent in Kansas City. Man, with eight eight hundred with a thousand dollars a month, you living good, man. With, hey, with eight hundred, nine hundred, you living good. You can get. Hey, if you put it put it in there, you you it'll come up come up, man. They got a whole list of houses. You live. You can live around. You know, white people, man, with that money. A thousand dollars a month. You can live around decent, <laughs> so-called white people. Okay, <laughs> they ain't gonna rob your shit. Okay, so for, so for you to jump up and buy a house for hundred G's, man, talking about I ain't cre- got credit. And let me say this, man, if you have one hundred fifty thousand, man, guess what? You are you automatic auto, automatically got credit, man. That's right. You know. You put that goddamn thing in the bank, that you gon' you gonna get you got credit, man. You can get anything you hey, anything you put up, that you can say, look, look, this is my collateral. You know? You know if you got a house like in New York, if you got a three hundred thousand dollar house, the the equity, let's say is fifty percent equity, you can get another house using the equity of the of the first house, man. If you got if you own a house Let's say you own a three hundred thousand dollar house in, in New York, free and clear, meaning it's paid for. Only thing you got to do is pay the taxes on that bitch. You can buy another house, and when they say do you, you, you don't have to have a job. He said, "Look, that's that's the collateral right there." Yeah. Okay. You hey, dumb nigga. So that showed you that you that was a test, man. Most I gave you that test, and you fell that test. Yeah. So I mean, you already should know. I'm pretty sure you got the memo. You out of there, man. You know? <laughs> hey, but the pastor, this is what I Because like I said, we, we're not begging for you guys to stick around, man. Yeah. You guys want to leave, leave, man. And in all you camps that are in, into GMS, you got leaders of them different camps, right? And the leader's job, it is to have the men in order, man. All you, We're going to check up on all you leaders, man, yeah. and see if you guys got your men sending tights, man. Okay? Because what in the hell, why in the hell are you in GMS? And like I said, you don't have to be in GMS, okay? And you know what we're going to start doing? We're going to start setting up. We have regions already, but we're going to start enforcing those regions, man. So you're going to be under regions of camp. Like it might be three or four states. You're going to have a regional um, head of those particular regions, all right? Con. So it's coming down the pike. And when we do these, de- and, and you know what? Now we're only dealing with members of GMS in good standing because you got niggas in GMS, man. Yeah. And then we're going to start kicking guys out. Look, man, there's a door. You can get the hell out of here, man. We're not like Nate, man. We're not begging for niggas to, to be around us. We're not looking for big numbers, man. All we're doing is the will of the most high. And our, and our job is to teach this word so the elect may hear it and then the most high seals the elect. That's it. That's all we're doing. And we're doing what we're supposed to do. Okay, now I mentioned you, Shia, right? Shia talking about no, we we made him read it on the wall. You know, you can't rape women. Well, this is what you can do. All right, this is uh, uh, Leviticus twenty one and nineteen, and it goes all the way down to fourteen, right? Uh, from uh, Leviticus twenty one nine to fourteen, I don't have to read the whole thing. It says, and the daughter of any priest, does not Yeshia call himself high priest? Look, I'm a high priest, Yeshia, right? So it said, you got a daughter, right? We know we got, we got, know the record on your daughter. If she profane herself by playing the whore, she prof- prof- profaneth her father. She, she profaneth her father. That's Yeshia. She profaned you, my man, okay? Now, we know you, you can't burn. We're going to read down. I said you're supposed to burn her. Now, we know, you, you, we, we know you, you'd be crazy if you burn your daughter. We ain't, we ain't in uh, our society, man. But you know what you're supposed to do? You're supposed to disown her, man. Not call her on the phone and send her money and all that bullshit, all right? She, um, she profaneth her father. She shall be burnt with fire. All right? It says, uh, that's what the scriptures said. That's the nastiness of the scriptures, all right? 
now get around that one, uh, Nate. T uh, ten verse. And he that is the high priest, Yeshua calls himself high priest. Ah, right, producer, put the put this, the, the 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 sound bite of him saying that I'm high. He's high priest Yeshua. Peace and black power, family. Welcome to another Welcome. Star Letter TV House of Consciousness production. I bring to you today a powerful soldier. He goes by the name of High Priest Yeshua. All right. So without any further ado, I bring to you the High Priest Yeshua. Okay, my name is Yeshaya. Okay, that's on the Sarnetta thing. Because um, he says he's a high priest. He never stopped being a high priest. And he that is the high priest among his brethren, upon whose head the anointing oil was poured, and back in one west we used to do a lot of anointing. Yeah. And you were anointed a high priest. Hell, I was anointed a high priest. That's right. And, and that is consecrated, which is the word consecrate mean, brother? Uh, with, with, uh, with, with sacred, all right? You became sacred to the Most High. To put on the garments shall not uncover his head nor rend his clothes. It says, neither shall he go in to any dead body nor defile himself for check this out nor defile himself for his father or for his mother you know what that means if anybody dies you can't go before that dead body including your father and your mother check that out neither shall he go out of the sanctuary nor profane the sanctuary. And this is the high priest of his power for the crown of the anointing oil of his power is upon him. I am Yahweh. And he shall take a wife in her virginity. The wife that you have, Yeshia, did you get her in your virginity? No. You were supposed to get a young woman that was untouched. Now where are you going to get a woman that's untouched in this society if she's according to this man's law in New York she got to be under uh, 18 years old man where you going to find a 16 year old that's, that's a virgin man that's, that's a hard thing to do okay uh, 14 a widow or a divorced woman or profane or an harlot these shall he not take, but he shall take a virgin, Bathwala, of his own people to wife. A Levite, a Levite woman of the tribe of Levi, Levite woman, that's a virgin. Now let me go back to uh, the ninth verse. And the daughter of any priest, high priest, regular priest, if she profane herself by playing the whore, she profaneth her father, she shall be burnt with fire. Now, if anybody does that in this society, man, let's say you call yourself a priest in GMS and you do that shit, and you say, well, the elders taught me that. You know, he taught a class. I said, look, man, if you do that and they catch your ass, we're going to throw you under the bus. That's you better not even think about burning your daughter, man, if she plays a harlot, man. Now, in the ancient world, they did that. Now, are they going to do that in the kingdom? Yes, they can do it in the kingdom, but they're not going to do it in the kingdom because we ain't going to have no harlots in the kingdom of heaven, man. All the women are going to be righteous and in order. That's right. 